Hi, I'm Holly Sexton for Quixie 983, and you're watching Issues and Insights on HCEC TV. Every year, I get to talk with Sarah Vaughn with the City of Elizabethtown about fun events that are coming up, including Fourth of July, where we remember our dear friend, former Mayor Tim Walker, and his idea and inspiration for Founders Day mm -hmm. is still a reality. So um, let's talk about Founders Day this year. I have no idea what you're doing other than a 5K, <laughs> so I can really ask you some hard-hitting <laughs> questions about Founders Day. Yes, so I, I'd like to first always say that, you know, a lot of folks don't realize because they say, why, do you, why is it called Founders Day? Well, it's also Elizabethtown's birthday. So that, that's the number one reason we will um, probably always have July 4th event on July the 4th. And of course, obviously, being our Independence Day. So um, it's just a really special day for the community. And when I first came on board with Mayor Walker in 2012, this was the first event and he said you know every year we kind of go back and forth of who's doing the fireworks whether it be a a big church in town or a nonprofit group and he said this is our gift to the community this is our job to create the celebration and offer a place for everyone to go and watch a great firework show whether we do anything else he didn't care but he wanted free firework show free for everyone else so mm -hmm. and you jumped on board with that and you're like let's do that oh, yeah and, and we've seen everything from a pie eating contest to um, again to the incredible fireworks show music and just a fun atmosphere it's probably one of my most favorite events because we're not locked into well we have to do this you know and you can um, kind of play around we kind of play around and year. West Banco has been on board now for several years as the main sponsor so you know um, uh, Trina and I Trina Floyd you know we sat down kind of early on and go okay and and it's just so much fun because we can do whatever we want and you know it's just it's loads of fun so and she's good people she's creative she and is. so she gets in there she's too the with some ideas. good ideas and Ken Dozer, I mean they, he's got still some ideas hanging out there that we may see come to fruition day of and it's just so laid back back and, and flexible so we actually don't open the park to to park uh, at Freeman Lake Park until about uh, between 4 30 or 5 the event officially kicks off at 5 p.m. and uh, July 4th is on a Wednesday it's on a Wednesday this okay. year so actually the morning of um, uh, the History Museum is having their fundraiser um, as a part of Founders Day and they're going to have a 5k run that they've named after Mayor Tim Walker uh, which is very very special and his family is beyond um, uh, blessed and, and excited you know for that and they, they love to see his name being carried on as it always will be mm -hmm. um, and then they're also gonna have a golf scramble so they have a couple of events that they're doing as a fundraiser but it is in part of festivities for the day so really all day long we got stuff going on so you could do the 5k in the morning in downtown e-town mm -hmm. and it's a, a walk mm -hmm. and a family yep it is the it's, families are welcome to that too. fun run walk with their you know they're obviously chip timing but yeah it's it's, it's going to be for everybody and then the uh, the golf scramble so um, if you want more information on that of course I can definitely point you in the right direction and then at five o'clock our events are going to kick off at the park so this year we've got we always have food vendors and a couple commercial vendors that are selling stuff or, or giving away some some goodies we've got always face painting and all that good stuff um, that cost money it is free to come in we've got a free trackless train so kiddos can do trackless train rides through the park or through this section of the park. Our kids are going to love that. Yes. What, super fun. What kiddo? Big I mean, kids like it. Too. I'm hoping that there's room for me <laughs> to get on there with my boys because then I have to ride with them. So, um, And then uh, a new thing this year um, or something new we're doing is uh, we're going to have a couple of water slides out there. So the big inflatable water slides. Love that. Yes. So um, of course, uh, and we, we are putting that on pavement just to make sure we don't tear up the ground, but um, it's going to be over there by the Rotary Shelter, which also has a little bit more uh, shaded area. We'll have a bounce house or two for the littles, but trying to make sure water is involved because it's so hot. That's really smart, and you're trying Ooh. to control a crowd, too, so you want to keep them yes. cool. So maybe kids, exactly. in, that, in that case, put hats on them, put them in some fun shorts or, you know, a, an appropriate bathing right. suit. Yes. Yeah, that type of thing. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, appropriate um, sunscreen and yes. um, maybe some sliders, like some sandals or yeah, something like that. Yeah, for sure. That they can get pavement. dirty, they can get wet, and all of that, and then exactly. bring a towel with you. That way, you can spend the whole day. Exactly, there too, and an extra a set of clothes. clothes. Yes, most definitely. Um, 
Um, you've got the, the water diapers for the littles and things like that. We are going to have something that will range all the way from adults that they mm -hmm. would like to do to the little ones as well. Um, uh, and, and that's going to be completely free. There is no cost. That's to so anyone. wonderful. Yes, I'm excited about that. And like I said, maybe about maybe a dry bounce house. Um, we're still kind of working out those details, but not a, as a mom, not always a big fan of really, really hot days and bounce houses because you see your kids in there with the red cheeks and you're like, oh, you know, they want to do it, but they're like about to die doing and it. And it gets so, hot in there really so quick. Hot in so there, so. I love it. Yes, yeah, so we've got that. We've also, we're also bringing back um, Sweet Pea and Marky and this, 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 this lady that comes out of South Carolina. Actually, her sister lives in town. She dresses up as this adorable clown, brings her pet stuffed monkey and does uh, bubbles that are the size of a building. And so the kids can jump into the bubbles. And so she's going to be out there doing that. Okay. We always have uh, chalk, the kids, a bunch of chalk just out there on the road so they can do a bunch of chalk drawings if they would like. Um, and then uh, we've also got, this year we have brought on board uh, one of Trina and West Banco's idea was to bring on board Bull Moose Brothers. And so they are going to have, starting at 5 o'clock, an area for bike safety training. So also along with your swimming trunks, your sunscreen, and all that good stuff, bring your bicycle out. And um, so the kids can, um, they get an opportunity to look at bike safety training and, and the do's and don'ts of that mm -hmm. and how that looks. Um, they're going to be offering those just as kids come into the area. but. The great thing is bring your bike decorated because we're going to have a bike parade. <laughs> I love this idea. Yes. So I've never seen one, so I can only imagine well, what it's going to look you like. You know, you have the little bit, you have tidbits of memories from when you were a kid. And one of my ma favorite memories as a, as a kid was we went to, my grandparents lived in Florida on a golf course. And so we would go up there and visit. And one year um, they had a <laughs> golf cart uh, a parade for July the 4th and so everybody decorated up their golf carts for this community. My aunt lives in one in Florida and I've seen it and they trick out these golf carts. I mean it Dude, is legit. we probably had $300 worth of decor on the golf cart. I mean honestly. Uh, we were just throwing streamers and just, it was crazy. It was so much fun. Um, so we we will probably have an area with some decor, but you know not not a whole lot. So bring your bike decorated. So during the day while you're having your family cookout, let the kiddos decorate their bikes up. Get some streamers going. Get some American flags um, because we're and bring them to be a part of the bike parade. So the bike parade is actually going to be at 6:30. So five o'clock, everything opens and gets going. Um, most of it, like I said, completely for free. And then we're also uh, at 6 o'clock, Shoney's on board again. Love Miss Amanda over mm -hmm. there. But this year, instead of the big, thick, strawberry, chocolate, whatever pies they bring out, we're going to do a watermelon eating contest. I've been in one of those, and I just hope that nobody is blindfolded. Because what happens when you're blindfolded, oh gosh, no. you don't know who's eating and who's not. Ew, weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I lost a watermelon eating contest like that. So anyway, <laughs> no blindfolds, please. No resentment at yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can check out the competition too while oh, you're yeah. trying to wall out your, your water. I hadn't even thought about so. blindfolding. I don't think that would be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Annoying. Yeah, so just a word of like warning. Like, whose watermelon are you eating, you know? Um, precisely. Yeah, <laughs> so it, big... it, it, that was, yeah, I, I have trauma, actually. A, you know, break out right now. <laughs> I don't know that that's a great decision. So please eat your own watermelon. Eat your own watermelon. Don't your do it Your hands will be behind your back. Okay. That will be part of the rules. So you can only use your yes, mouth. You can only and use your mouth and it. your eyes. And your eyes. Um, but, uh, <laughs> It's awful. Um, Talk to Greg about that. I, I'm sure he's got some good pictures. Yeah, he's somewhere. got some good pictures. Good video. Uh, <laughs> we're actually going to be slicing up watermelon, so whoever eats um, their portion the fastest wins. So, okay. And we're going to have a great trophy and all that. But Shoney's is working with Bud's Produce in town, all local peeps, and we're just really excited about that. And So I thought maybe maybe steer, steer away from the really thick strawberry pies. I'm afraid someone's going to get sick. Yes. Because they haven't yet. Um, so we're going <laughs> to go like to watermelon. Nobody is going to get sick or throw up at Founders Day. It's not going to happen. That's the goal. I love right? that. That is our <laughs> only mission. Um, <laughs> we could do lots of things, but nope, nope. We're not dealing with that. So okay. <laughs> we, I love our staff way too much to put okay. them in that position. <laughs> So, okay, so 6 o'clock, and then 6.30 is the bike parade, and that's going to be strolling through. Parents can be a part of it. We want parents a part of this with their kids. Um, and then, of course, kids and their bikes, tricycles, push them in a 
in one of those red car things. I mean, you know, just decorate it up. Have the best of fun with it. How much it. fun would that be to decorate your bike all day long and then you're going to be in a bike parade? So, Bull Moose Brothers is also going to be doing some drawings of people that participate and giving away some uh, safety um, types of things, whether it be lights for your helmets or, or whatnot. So, it's just going to be a really great uh, opportunity to look at bike safety. Um, I know I have seen, since it's gotten warm, I've seen a lot of folks on the side of the roads and the sidewalks with Littles, you know, riding yes. their bikes right next to Dixie Highway. And It's and scary. I, I've it done it. It is scary. I've it's done it. Yeah. And we want to get our kids out. We want them exercise. We want them on their bikes. But there is a good portion of bike safety training that um, we, as parents, are just way too busy to go look for. We throw a helmet on and we move on or yeah. we may not even do that. And so... It's a good reminder to keep your kids safe because uh, the ER sees a lot of bike accidents, bike, bicycle related accidents. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not the opportunity to, to uh, train without training wheels. Um, you know, we don't feel like that, that this event is, is something if you would like to on your own away from the rest of the group, that's Freeman Lake is always there and available for that um, at your own risk. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is more, you know, we will have some experts. Mr. Adam Lobert will be there to help parents and to help kids along with that safety. So, But it's not a learn how to ride. It is not a learn how to ride okay. event. No, no, no. It's just about bike safety. Got it. Um, and then, of course, if folks do and they have some new riders, Adam's there to help you. He's he's an open book, and he is great at at bike safety. So, um, and then they've talked about for the adults and the more um, the more pr you know proficient riders to maybe even going on a bike ride later on through all the trails in the park. But of course, that's definitely not for littles and training wheels. That's for folks who mm -hmm. um, who ride all the time. But Bull Moose was actually considering doing that later on, so they'll have some more information about that closer to event time. Um, at 7 o'clock, we've got Mr. Aaron Harp going to be on the main stage for a free magic show for the kiddos. He's got quite a show. Yes, yes, super excited about that. And then at, um, uh, at 8 o'clock, Owensboro Orchestra, 2nd Street Band is going to be back this year. So oh, we had fun. them in 2017. We're going to have them back this year. Great group, about 20 of them, and they, they rock it out up on stage. So they're going to start about 8 o'clock. Um, they'll go until dark, and then uh, West Banco will be presenting those fireworks. I'm sure they're going to be there. Last year they had free popsicles for the kids, free water. Um, but West Banco is just such a wonderful, wonderful partner for this event. And um, they, they give a significant sponsorship for this one five-hour event because they know and they, they saw and continue to see mm -hmm. Tim's vision of having this big, free, fun celebration. Um, you can bring coolers out there. You can bring uh, food and beverage. Absolutely no alcohol. There Got will it. not be alcohol sold at the park. You cannot bring it in. Um, coolers and bags are subject to search if our police feel necessary to keep everyone uh, safe and alcohol free. Um, but if you want to bring a picnic, obviously we that will be available. And then there are some pavilions that will be open that are first come first serve. You can't rent them for the day. But I've seen families gather at some of the pavilions and they're cooking out in the middle of the festival. And I'm like, that's awesome. That is you know? awesome. It's like, yeah. oh, I wish I'd thought of that. Like, <laughs> you would only be out the cost of food. You don't have to create a party for your July the 4th. You know? You've already got your it. Your fireworks are paid for. Your, you know, <laughs> all that. It's genius. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, plan on coming out with your chairs and your blankets and your family and everybody uh, to come and spend the day with us at Freeman Lake Park. So, uh, big thank you to all the sponsors and, and uh, especially West Banco. So. Yes, really appreciate them and what they're doing for the community. Yeah. And I'm so thankful. I remember when Tim started this. So mm. it's yeah. it's a touching thing, too, to think about all of those things that are culminating now. It is. It. it is. So. And to see that it stays consistently um, successful and stays consistently, you know, desired and needed. And, and the community wants this, you know, and especially being on a weekday. Now, if it does rain, because we have gotten rained out the last few years, mm -hmm. Um, if it does rain, our reschedule dates for the following Friday, July the 6th. So we will do everything in our power to have all of those same events happening uh, as a repeat for Friday. Same time, same everything. Um, so definitely the fireworks will be shot off if they get rained out. Perfect. Um, I have some folks that say, well, it's not raining during, it's not raining, it quit raining an hour before, it did this or did that. If we have enough rain, mm -hmm. um, we can And that's what's happened. Cars. There's been just this deluge and yes. you haven't been able to get people in and out of there. No, so. cars get stuck, this happens, that happens, or um, fireworks take hours upon hours to set up. 
and a lot of people don't realize that. And so the, our folks are coming in that morning and setting up fireworks all day. They can't do that in the rain. <laughs> um, and and you, you already kind of prepay for them. So once you pay for them, they're yours. So I'd rather not let them get wet. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we have to call it, you know, uh, either the evening before or early that morning um, if it's going to, con you know, be damaged. Even if it stopped raining and the sun come out right then. But, you know, so we will make that decision if we have to. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, wonderful radio stations like QuickSync mm -hmm. help us get that that out on social media and on air. So. Yeah, we'll share that for sure. Um, for people to follow along, what's the best way online for them to do that? Uh, ElizabethTownKY.org, the city's website, um, or you can uh, the, probably the number one best way is our Elizabethtown City Events page. And so on there, we have about 8,500 followers, I think. But we are constantly posting, and, and any okay. new event like that, we have it has its own events page. Plus, the main information will be on the, the whole page. So Perfect. Yeah. Well, happy Founders Day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> I'm excited. We're going to have a good time. And uh, rain. You know what? We'll do it anyway. We'll have fun no right. matter what happens. Right. So, and again, you can keep up there. Um, Sarah Vaughn, Events Coordinator for the City of Elizabethtown. And thank you for watching HCEC TV's Issues and Insights. I'm Holly with Quixie 98.3.